is up, everyone? Welcome back to another Shop Challenge <laughs> with our friend Caitlin uh, from My Bowl. So if you're new to our channel, we do Chop Challenges every single month with Caitlin, and basically it's like the show Chopped. You guys choose ingredients in the comments below. We'll have more details on that later for next month's video. And then the top two ingredients on our channel and the top two ingredients on her channel have to be used in a recipe. Let's see what we got. See what we got in the basket, guys. The chopped basket right here. Here we go. Ah! All right. Uh oh. This is one of our least favorite ingredients. It smells beady. It's like not. We got some beets. We've got a knife Excellent. plant. Excellent. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And then some liquid, liquid smoke. smoke. Okay. It's one of our favorite like ingredients, that. guys. I love liquid smoke. And finally, some coffee. Some coffee. All right. Uh, so. This ingredient combination is one of, I feel like one of the most weird. difficult we've worked with. Um, well, last month was kind of messed up too. Oh yeah, last month with the uh, mango, what the hell. Mango miso. You guys, come on. Um, but we did some brainstorming. Um, it took us like a week to figure out what we were making. Um, we got but it. we got it, it's gonna be really freaking good. We are doing Eggplant bacon. So we're frying this up and we're marinating it with some of the liquid smoke to make it nice and smoky and bacony. And then we're gonna use the beets, make a beet burger, and then use the coffee with a seasoning rub and yeah, rub the burgers and I hope for the best. So we're gonna get into this recipe, but first, don't forget to vote in the comments below. So we're going to pin a comment, and on that comment, you can comment, 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 your ingredient suggestion for next month, and the top four uh, will be Two from ours, two yeah, from Caitlin's. Will be chosen. Make sure you thumbs up ingredients you like, or give an ingredient suggestion, or do both, and make sure you put it in the pinned comment. If you just leave a random comment on the video, it gets lost. It's not gonna get disqualified, because <laughs> we don't get that many comments, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so without further ado. Wait. Make sure you check out Kaylin's. She is making an eggplant Reuben. Yes, we'll link that down That's below. Bomb. And uh, okay, let's get started. Let's <laughs> we're gonna start out with our first special ingredient, which is beets. So we're gonna wrap that loosely in aluminum foil and then bake that for about 50 minutes at 400 degrees. Once it's done, we're gonna shred it up. And then in a food processor, we'll add in some walnuts along with some rolled oats and then pulse them until they're finely ground. Once that's finished, we'll add in some mushrooms, some black beans, the shredded beets from earlier, some raw red onions, two cloves of garlic, some ground flax seeds, and then a little bit of almond butter. We'll let that pulse again until fully combined. And then we'll add in some fresh parsley along with some smoked paprika, nutritional yeast, and Italian seasoning. And then we'll season with salt and pepper to taste. We'll let the mixture process one more time and then we'll place it into the refrigerator to set for about 30 minutes. From there we'll divide our mixture into six half inch patties. But don't worry if they're not all even, they don't have to be perfect. So to use the coffee in this chop challenge we're actually going to make a homemade coffee rub. So we're going to mix together some freshly ground coffee along with some black pepper some brown sugar. You can also use coconut sugar in its place as well. Then we're going to add in some oregano and some paprika. We have smoked paprika here and some salt. So just mix that together until everything is nice and uniform and we're just gonna do, as the name says, we're going to rub it all over the burgers. So we just sprinkled some on and then rubbed it in so that it would stick nicely into the burger. And then you're going to bake that at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes, flipping halfway through. For our next chopped ingredient, the eggplant, we're going to put together some bacon. So you're going to cut off the end and then cut it in half. And then next up, using a mandolin, you're going to slice the eggplant into about an eighth of an inch thick strips. And I should note, please be very careful when you're using a mandolin. We have cut ourselves many times on this thing and it is not pretty. So just continue until you have sliced through both sides of the eggplant and now it's time to prepare the marinade. Now we're gonna whip up our marinade for the eggplant bacon. So we're gonna start off with some soy sauce, but you can also use some tamari. Next up, we're gonna use some maple syrup and then some extra virgin olive oil, along with some coconut vinegar or apple cider vinegar. 
and then now our key ingredient which is some liquid smoke and then some smoked paprika a sprinkle of salt and then some black pepper we'll just whisk that all together really well we don't have our mini whisk anymore but we're using a fork and we're making that work we actually baked the eggplant and fried the eggplant we tested both and they both worked really well so for both methods, you're going to need to use a pastry brush to lightly brush the marinade over the eggplant. And I'll have all of the info linked down below for the baking process. And in this video, we are just going to highlight the frying process. So we added it to some hot oil and we basically fried it for about two minutes on each side or until it was nice and browned and crispy. And then once we fried the eggplant, we added it onto a paper towel lined plate to drain it a bit so that we can remove some of the excess oil and let it become nice and crispy. And I should note that this eggplant is best when it is enjoyed immediately after frying. And now to assemble, we just added lettuce, the patty, some cheese sauce, which will be linked down below, tomatoes, onions, the bacon, and bam, that's it. <laughs> you got Caitlin up in this. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. We got our burgers in the house. Looks good. We're gonna try them. Let's go. They're all like falling, so be careful. So I get, do I get the big side? Yeah. So what am I eating? A beet burger? Oh, yeah. We got a, a beet, beet burger, burger with some eggplant bacon, and then we also have some cashew cheese. Mm. And then I, I ended up adding pickles to these. Everything and is better with pickles. Tomato mm. and right. lettuce. I don't think my this mouth is open is wide enough. Sorry. Oh. Okay, squeeze it. Oh my god, good job. Oh, I Mmm. Mm. Very tasty. Do you think they're beady? Um, they're a little it's beady to me. Hard with all the other toppings. Mm. I mean, like it. Because, like, when I'm like eating it with all the toppings, I feel like it's not super beady. I just want to, like, mention that people don't like beets. Yeah, because no. I'm not a huge fan of beets, and it was totally fine. No, I didn't. I couldn't really taste it. If I try like a piece of it and like think for beets, but I think it's good with the coffee too. Mm, I need the coffee. Really energized. I'm a mess, guys. So, Caitlin approves? I approve. She is going to be making some eggplant rubens on her page. Make sure you check them out. Look part of the challenge. Up. And you can vote for your favorite recipe in the top right corner. Did we win? Did Caitlin win? Is this one right? We won. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't get confused. <laughs> and also make sure to comment your ingredient suggestions down below. And that's all we got for you today. So we'll see you in the next video.